you guys on today's video we're going to be setting up right here your meta quest 2 otherwise known as oculus quest 2 now the first thing you want to do is create an account and download the app go to oculus.com and it'll take you directly to this page which is actually store.facebook.com and then from here if you're already logged in into your facebook anywhere in your web browser then you should see something like this and if you click on it, it's gonna take you to this page. Now, yes, there's another way that there, that's coming up in order to log in and create an account, your Oculus. However, this is right now, right this second, what you should do. So once you are in this page, if you don't see a message like so, telling you to visit the Oculus profile page, you can just scroll down and keep scrolling. And you're gonna see this down here which says Oculus settings. Just go right into it. From there, it's gonna take you to this page where you can just go on and log in with Facebook. If you don't have a Facebook account, you can just make one right now. And that's down here below, just sign up. It is free, you don't need credit cards or anything like that for Facebook, by the way. But in this case, assuming you already have Facebook, we're just gonna click on Login with Facebook. Then you're gonna see this message, just continue as tech and design. Well, that's in my case. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there. And there we go. Right now it should tell you, welcome to Oculus. You can just go down, you're gonna see this, and then, a button should say continue as a new Oculus user. So go ahead. So right here we can set up your VR profile. You can pick your username, which in this case I'm gonna go on. So I'm just gonna put in my username. Well, this is any username that you would like to have. This is what people will see. In my case, I'm just gonna put tech and design. I was gonna put underscores and stuff like that. I'll just make it more difficult. So this is the easiest way that I can look at it. And unlucky for me, for example, if I type this in, which would be much shorter, it doesn't let you. So you do have to use actual letters, sadly. But anyways, let's just click on continue. Create an Oculus pin. So something that's not too easy for everybody to guess, so go ahead. Once you type in your pin, whatever you like, you can go on and click on continue. It's gonna ask you to confirm your email and then just go ahead and click on continue again. And there we go, we're all done actually. Right now we can view our profile and you can go into various options. So if I click up here or on the side, depending on your web browser, you're gonna see all these options, order subscriptions, redeem codes, so if you have a code or anything like that, and you can go down and take a look at all the options for your account at this point. After you have done so, let's just start off with your controllers. So right here, your controllers to activate them, just take this out first. So it might be a little hard to take it out, but there you go. Now the battery inside is working. And we're gonna do that here as well with the other controller. It's gonna pull on this. So let's just put the controllers on the side for now because we're kind of done with those. Now remember, this would be your left one. This is your right one. How do you know? Well, this one will have this button and this one will have this button that's different. Plus inside the game, it's gonna tell you. Because Some people mess up all the time. It's fine, inside the game, it's gonna always tell you. This one's right, this one's left, and you're gonna be okay. Now let's take a look at your Oculus. You're gonna notice that things are a little bit blurry at first, and usually what you have to adjust is this. So if you notice, just by lifting this a little bit more tight and making your Oculus go up, you might start notice that everything's a little bit more clear, or maybe you have to loosen it up just a tad, make it go down. However, apart from that, look at your lenses. To make things more clear, there are things that you can do. For example, you can adjust these. So if you push them, you're gonna see that that number three pops up. Yes, that's position number three. You can go to position number two or position number one. All I'm doing is just pushing in and pushing outside. So I'm gonna push out for number three, number two, and number one. I'm just pushing it in. I'm pushing out to make it wider. It depends. So select whatever makes sense to you. For me, it's about number two. And see these bands right here? Most likely you're gonna have to loosen them up or even make them tighter, depending on what fits best for you. For me, it's around there. So I'm just gonna, there we go, make it bigger. Now, something I wanna point out is never to clean your lenses with any liquid. But anyways, just never touch the lenses. Now down here below, you're gonna notice this is for your volume. So those are your volume keys. And on the side, you're gonna charge it up here. This other side will be for your power. Now this part right here, 
can come off. So you can actually just grab it. And if you push on it from here, it's just gonna pop out. So see this cover? That's how you take out the cover from your Oculus or MetaQuest 2. So that's how the cover looks like. And you can pop it back in. So to pop this back in, all you have to do is just place it on the top, give it a nice push, align it. As long as you align it, it's just gonna pop in pretty easy. And there we go, you're gonna hear those clicks. That means you did the job and it's all good. And most likely for taking this out is because you wanna place that sweat guard, which is the first thing that I suggest doing. Even if this is your first time using one, you should. So we're just gonna pop this out. And here's the sweat guard that we got. So we're just gonna place it on top. Now these are always made with silicon and you do get one with your Oculus. I guess I should refer to it as Meta, but they've been known as Oculus for such a long time. Plus the branding is still there on so many boxes that are being sold as Meta, but it, it, it's the same thing after all. It's just the branding that they're changing. Now here we go. Just keep putting all the way around. Keep matching up those corners. And that's it. That's how you can place this silicon cover over it, which will help with the sweat. So we're just gonna place this back. So we're just gonna pop it in right in here. And there we go. So that's how it looks like. That's what it's supposed to fit. And we're all ready to use your Oculus. So in order to download the Oculus app, we just have to go into our app store. In our app store, we have to go into search and we can actually even type meta. So here we go, just meta quest Two search and there's the Oculus app. I don't know when they will change the app's name. I just don't think it's gonna be something that fast. But here we go, that's the app that we need to download. So we just press on get. This is a 100% free app. And here we go, it's pretty small too. So if we click on it, we're gonna be able to see down here below, it's gonna tell us the size. So the size for this, it's only 122 megabytes. So right now that I just downloaded, I can just open it up. And of course we have to press okay. However, it's just easier to tap on this first options where that's exactly what we're gonna do. And right now it's just gonna run us through the whole setup. Like I mentioned before, since we already created a Facebook account and we have also an Oculus account, it will tie things together for you anyways. So it will take you here and it will tell you that you already have a username because you already did that. So at this point you could edit your username if you wanted to, but what you should do is just tap on the top where it says your name, tag and design in this case, and we're just gonna choose a picture that makes sense to us. So I'm gonna choose my Facebook picture Right there, save that up. You can choose anything you like. You don't have to choose your Facebook picture and then just continue on. You can add any friends that are using Oculus as well or you can just go on. Just tap on continue. And once again, choose whatever makes sense to you, whatever you are interested in. So for me, it's shooting games and that would be it really. So I'm just gonna continue on. You can go ahead and add your credit card or just add PayPal. What I suggest doing is adding PayPal because it's just a little more safe, it's a safety net. So let's say something weird happens, you could contact PayPal to fix that error and not just Oculus. So maybe you have a problem with Oculus Store, you don't really have to just contact Oculus Store for some customer service, but you can also just contact PayPal and they usually take care of business really quick. So that's what I suggest doing, but you can go ahead and enter your credit card information or just skip this at this time. Now for most of you, you will want to purchase some awesome games. So I highly suggest adding PayPal, but again, you can always skip that and you can skip on the bottom. But anyways, as I mentioned, you can always skip. So right now that you have an account and uh, you downloaded the app, I'm gonna show you this on an iPad, same thing on a phone, any phone for that matter. Once you're on this screen, you're gonna choose Quest 2. And then we're just gonna select continue on and it's going to look for the headset so at this point just turn on your headset it's actually better if you had it turned on on the side we're going to see this button just hold on to it and we're going to see this light 
turning on. So that's how you turn on your Oculus for the first time. And if you put on your Oculus, let me just focus in on the app itself, it's going to ask me for a five digit code to enter. So if I put on my Oculus, I will be able to see that five digit and I can't actually record that, but you will be able to see it once you put on your Oculus. So in my case, it's three, four, eight, zero, eighty five. That's the code that I was able to see once I put on my Oculus. And it's going to tell you right there on your screen that you should have your controllers with you. So you can see which one's right and which one's left. But right now it's pairing the two. So again, we're just pairing the headset with the app, which is perfect. And then all we have to do is just put on the headset to finish off the entire setup. So go ahead and do that. But right now you're all done with this video. Now make sure to watch the manual that I got, which tells you everything you need to know about right here, your headset. However, this is it for your setup video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.